Do you ever have those moments when you go down a rabbit hole and it actually energizes you and you get like all sorts of inspiration? Today, I want to walk you through what happened this week, at the rabbit hole I went down and how much the universe was completely supporting me going down that rabbit hole and how it actually helped me to move forward. This week is a week of very extremes where we're feeling the energy of Aries, the drive, the push forward. And at the same time, there's so much shifting on a global level, on a universal level, but also really the energy and the vibration is shifting. So one thing that happened to me this week and for the people who have been following me for a long time, They know that I love traveling, adventure, (laughs) relocation. I have lived in Thailand for almost 10 years. And at the end of those 10 years, it really was time to go back to the Netherlands, where I'm from originally, and settle down here for a while. When we moved, the first thing I said was, I have no idea how long we're going to stay in Holland. Maybe it will be forever and maybe it won't be. By the way, the wind is crazy today, so you might hear some noises in the background because I cannot filter all of that out. So I have been playing with the idea of moving to the south of Europe for quite a few years now. We've been in the Netherlands for almost four years now. And I love it here. And at the same time, I really feel this urge, this drive to explore new areas. And to be honest, I really miss the warm climate. I love snow, like the first day, and then I'm over it. (laughs) And I don't mind some dark, gloomy days every once in a while, just sitting on the couch with a blanket and a hot tea. But I also really, really miss the outdoor living in Thailand. In Thailand, we, our ground floor actually didn't have a lot of windows. It was very open, so the cool wind could always come through. And the kids were always playing in the garden, making a mess, and just really infused in nature. And we had a beautiful big garden. And here we chose on purpose to rent a smaller house, just because we're... I don't know, still figuring things out. I think everybody's still figuring things out all the time. But for us, it was really conscious decision to not invest too much money in housing yet and really focus on where do we want to go forward. So that is what we're doing. So that also means that we have less outdoor space and it is not exactly what we would want. Although I have to say, we live in a brand new house and Our house has solar panels and I don't know if that's the exact translation English, but we have a a pump that takes the warm water out of the ground in winter and cold water in summer. So our house like almost like self-regulates. So we actually get money back from our energy bill because our house is so well built that we actually don't spend money on electricity. We actually make money on our house. (laughs) So that being said, we still have the desire to move. We still want to explore new new areas because I've always been a big fan of traveling in the past few years. Obviously, we haven't traveled much and I just like to explore new places. So for the longest time, I had France on my radar. I used to go there as a kid all the time, like every summer holiday we would go there. France is really big, so we always went to a different area, loved it, loved the food. I'm not going to say I loved the people because I was so young that I wasn't really aware of French people that much. Um, But recently, I think the shift happened at the end of last year. I started to shift my focus to Portugal. And the moment I did that, something really miraculously happened. So many people came on my path that have a connection with Portugal. I met Portuguese people. I met people who moved to Portugal, people who are going to move to Portugal. And I thought that was fascinating, but I didn't do much with it at that time. And then this month, I started to get these hits again. Hey, Portugal, Portugal. 
So what I did on Tuesday, I said to my friend, I'm just going to Google some things on or, or look something up on YouTube and, and see the homesteads and people that are already living there. And that looking up of a video turned into many hours of <laughs> searching people who have a homestead in Portugal and just completely going down the rabbit hole. Really enjoyed it. Let myself do that. I do have to say at the end, I felt a little bit guilty because Tuesdays are the day where I have full day of childcare. So that's usually my day where I do a lot of things. And at the end of the day, I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't finish what I set out to do. And at the same time, I knew that this was really essential for me to get some more clarity. So I posted on Facebook. I said that I went down a rabbit hole of looking at homesteads on YouTube. And I kid you not, there was a flood of comments of people saying, my mother-in-law lives there. We own land there. We're going to build a retreat center there. It was like so many people had connections or wanting me to put them in contact with other people. And I told that to my husband and my husband is still, well, he's, he's a double Gemini. So he thinks a lot. I am, I have a lot of planets and fire signs. My sun, my uh, Mercury and Mars are in Leo, so I'm much more of a doer. He's much more of a thinker. So I'm like, okay, this looks amazing. Like, I have so many connections. I started uh, a board on Notion, writing down who knows who and the connections and where they live. And I really started to map things out. And that made me so enthusiastic. And this is very much the Aries energy that we're in right now. Although I have to say, on Wednesday, <laughs> I had to have a complete rest day because my head was spinning with ideas and inspiration and fire that on Wednesday, I completely had to take a day to rest. I did a few small things, but not anything, not anything related to Portugal or related to like big things in my business, just uh, some small stuff. But I think this is so fascinating. And this is something I want you to take from this episode that Aries energy is about taking action. So I could have just kept the fact that I spent, I don't know, like three, four hours on YouTube. <laughs> I could have kept that for myself, but I shared it. And now I have a list of at least five more people I'm in contact with about Portugal who live there or who go there every winter, who know areas, who know local people. And this is the inspired action I've been talking about a lot. And I talk about this a lot on my private podcast, The Cosmic Confirmation, where I walk people through how you can harness the energy of the week specifically. And it was just so powerful to experience that. And today, it's Thursday, the energy has settled down a bit. And I'm like, okay, so this is the information that I have. And now I want to start looking at a timeline, but I also know what is going to happen in the next few weeks. So I'm going to hold off on actually making it more practical. I'm just emerging myself in this energy of research, of getting to know people, of contacting people. And it's really so much fun. But there's another thing that struck me. I shared in a previous podcast that I have what we call a Saturn square. So Saturn right now is making a square with where Saturn was during birth. And guess where that square is happening? In my fourth house. Guess what fourth house is? It's house, home, family. Guess what happened 29 years ago when Saturn was transi transiting through the same house? We moved house. My parents moved to a different house. And I was, I was actually a bit speechless when I, when I thought about this because I moved when I was around, I think eight or nine. Yeah. Around eight. I think we moved to a new home and right now I am considering moving again. I'm considering seeing what it would look like if we move. So that doesn't mean that we will move. I mean, maybe we won't. And, but I also want to share that with you. I'm not saying this because I know that we're going to move to Portugal. 
there is really strong urge and there, well, the universe is showing me sign after sign after sign about Portugal and moving and relocating. But I'm not focusing on it has to happen. Right now, I'm still basking in this energy of inspiration, of exploration. And because I know that this is happening in my fourth house, it actually helps me to feel more grounded. That this is not something that happens on a whim where I just feel the urge. Or maybe I am inspired by the people who I see moving to Portugal or planning to do so. But this is initiated from within. And I can see that this started, I think, when we moved into this house, which was about three years ago. I think that's when it started to develop. And also, if I look around at this house, I actually graduated as an interior architect. And if I look around the house, it's cozy. But I also see that we haven't done a lot to make it really cozy, like It's livable and it's cute and we like it. And at the same time, I know that if I really put my skills to use, it will look very different. That made me realize that we've never truly put our roots down here, specifically in the house. I mean, I do believe that we put our roots down here in the Netherlands, but the house, not so much. So what I'm also shifting right now is making sure that our house is as cozy as I want it to be. So instead of looking at, but maybe we will move to Portugal, honestly, that can maybe take another two years because my husband, who is from Thailand, has a visa right now uh, that will end in two years. And we're not quite sure how we can extend that. So it might be that we have to stay here until we can renew his visa and make it into a more permanent one so that we can move around in Europe easier. I mean, we could relocate to Portugal right now, but... Once his visa expires in two years, we don't know what to do in Portugal. So it might be that it takes another two years. So I want to appreciate, and this is also the law of attraction, appreciate where you are right now. So instead of me just only focusing on Portugal, 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 because maybe it even won't be Portugal. (laughs) Maybe it will be another country. Maybe it will be Spain or maybe it will be Italy. Who knows? But I also realize I want to make sure that our house is really a house we we have everything we need and it's cozy and it's comfortable, which is also fourth house energy. Making because even if you're listening now, you think, whoa, I also have Saturn going through my fourth house. That doesn't mean you have to move. It means that you are examining, hey, where do I live now? And and is it living up to my standards? Is there something I can change? So right now, what we're going to do is make our house even cozier. And I will keep exploring Portugal. My husband, like I said, he's not on the fence. He loves to move. Like he would would go there in a heartbeat. We had a huge, huge vegetable garden in Thailand where he would always, during the day, do his thing. My husband had a volunteer organization, so the volunteers would be away during the day. But in the... Uh, during so during the day he actually had time to work in the vegetable garden i'm going to wrap this up because i hear my little one crying upstairs so this is so powerful if you bring all of these things together so and the inspired action sharing about it talking to people about it looking at your natal chart and understanding hey this is a topic that is present for me right now and how can i explore this If this is something that you want to do and you're curious about, hey, where is Saturn in my chart? What is showing up? In the show notes, I have a link. You can book a connection call with me. Let's connect. Let's see what is happening in your business, in your life, and how astrology can teach you on a deeper level what is going on and what next steps would be the most effortless for you. So I can't wait to connect with you. If you've enjoyed this episode, please let me know, take a screenshot and tag me on Instagram or send me a DM because I always love hearing what you thought about the episode and be in conversation with you. So that's it for this week. So that's it for that's it for now. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Mm-hmm.